In this video, I'm going to show you how you can stake your Ethereum with Swell, which is a new liquid staking protocol. I'm also going to break down the pros and cons of staking with Swell, why you might want to use Swell instead of Rocket Pool or Lido, and I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm approaching Ethereum staking when it comes to Swell and Rocket Pool and Lido. Okay, for starters, what is Swell? Well, it's a liquid staking protocol. It's very similar to that of Rocket Pool in that it's open sourced and decentralized, meaning that the Swell team doesn't have access to your Ethereum. They've distributed it to a bunch of different validators all around the world, and everyone is pooling their ETH together to participate in validating the ETH network. And in exchange for giving your ETH to the Swell protocol, you get SW ETH, which represents that staked Ethereum, and it accrues staking rewards over time. Now some baseline statistics right now, the APR of the last seven days has been just under 3%. Although if we look here, we can see that the historical backwards looking APR is actually closer to 4% and it'll go up if there's more demand on the Ethereum network. It's been really a low, a bear market. And so these staking rewards are not currently what they potentially could be. There's almost 1300 active validators. So that's pretty decentralized. Almost 50,000 ETH has been staked with Swell and almost 12,000 individual wallets have staked ETH with Swell. In terms of how you actually use Swell to stake your Ethereum, it's very simple. You just go to swellnetwork.io. You open the app by hitting on the stake button. And this is where you can connect your Web3 wallet like MetaMask and you can choose what you want to stake. So you enter in the app, you know, how much ETH you want to stake and that shows you how much you're going to receive. Now one ETH currently buys 0.966 SWEETH or Swell ETH because over time as the staking rewards build up, the amount of SWEETH that you'll be able to purchase with one ETH token is going to go down. So then all you would do is hit stake and then the transaction will pop up in your wallet and you can either confirm or reject it, which I'm not going to do now because I've already staked with Swell. Now, why would you want to use Swell? And what are the benefits of Swell as opposed to, for example, Rocket Pool or Lido, which are two of the larger staking service providers? Well, there's a couple of reasons why I personally use Swell. And for starters, I like to diversify my stake. I don't want to have everything with Lido. I don't want to have everything with Rocket Pool. I think the greater diversification, the better, because if there's smart contract risk with any one of the individual staking protocols or staking service providers, then by spreading my ETH out across the different protocols, I'm reducing the risk to my overall portfolio. So number one, definitely diversification. Now, when we look at the APR of Swell ETH currently, it's actually a little bit lower than what you would get if you were staking with, for example, Rocket Pool. But the second reason why I really like Swell currently is that they're planning to release a token. They currently have the Swell Voyage going on where you collect pearls by holding SWETH. And so currently I'm holding two SWE tokens. And over time, as you hold the Swell staked ETH, you earn pearls, which will then eventually be exchangeable for a future airdrop. And you can see the timeline or the voyage map of this potential airdrop is getting relatively close to its conclusion. However, there's still an opportunity to get in and to stake with Swell and to participate in the airdrop. And this is one of the main reasons why I like Swell currently, in addition to that diversification factor, is the fact that you, know, you could make up for the small difference in APR with Swell by getting an airdrop and then using that to buy more ETH. So that I think is one of the main benefits currently to Swell over Rocket Pool or over Lido because both Lido and Rocket Pool are not gonna be having future retroactive airdrops, but Swell is. And in terms of this Swell voyage, like I said, you go to the app, you stake ETH, and then you start earning pearls on that staked ETH. Also, you can refer people to the app. And if you wanna use my referral link, I will throw it down below. I definitely recommend only putting what you're comfortable with into the app. But don't try to yellow everything in in the hopes of getting a massive airdrop because like I said, diversification is important and it's really wise to try to manage your risk in cryptocurrency. So that's why I've only staked two ETH here and I've put actually the majority of my staked ETH in Rocket Pool but also a little bit in Lido, trying to spread it out a little bit. And one final thing to mention is that there's this community bonus. So it's saying that you'll get 40% more airdrop when the milestone of 50,000 staked ETH gets hit. Currently it's at 47,000. So if you're interested in staking with Swell and potentially qualifying for the Swell airdrop, which is gonna go by the ticker symbol Swell, then it's potentially a good idea to get in before that community bonus 50,000 staked ETH gets hit. 
Hopefully you found this video useful. Again, take a risk-managed approach to your e-staking and have yourself a great day.